Welcome to SBS News in Easy English. The New South Wales Health Minister has warned people will face costly fines over the false reporting of positive rapid antigen test results. Brad Hazard says he has become the victim of a fraudulent COVID-19 test report with someone using his name to declare themselves a positive case through the self-reporting system for rapid antigen test results. He says the prank is immature and illegal and penalties apply for those responsible. There is a $5,000 fine for anybody who misrepresents any facts to the New South Wales Health And health officials in New South Wales are reporting 36 deaths in the latest COVID-19 figures. Authorities also recorded almost 30,000 new coronavirus infections on Tuesday. The Royal Melbourne Hospital is urging patients to avoid the emergency department unless they absolutely need urgent specialist care. The Victorian government has declared a code brown for all metropolitan hospitals and six regional hospitals. The move is a response to staff shortages and it will allow non-urgent services to be deferred with workers possibly having to cancel their upcoming leave. The measure came into effect from midday and will last up to six weeks. Infectious disease experts have warned it may still be some time before it's known whether the peak of the Omicron coronavirus outbreak has passed. While various chief health officers have said COVID-19 case numbers linked to the new variant are starting to plateau, Leading epidemiologists say it may take two to three weeks to develop a more accurate picture. Overseas now, the body of a British woman in Tonga has been found after a tsunami triggered by a massive underwater volcanic eruption on Saturday swept away her home. Australia is sending a military surveillance flight to Tonga to assess the damage in the aftermath of the eruption. Angela Glover's brother, Nick Eleni, says his sister had set up the Tonga Animal Welfare Society. She started her charity in, in Tonga. You know, it was to help the stray dogs that they have there. Online safety advocates are speaking at the third hearing of a parliamentary inquiry into how social media can become safer for users. In 2021, the federal government proposed new laws to hold technology giants to account for online harassment. The proposed laws will force social media platforms to take down offending posts and provide the identity of anonymous people in some situations. Last year, advocates of the laws told the inquiry that profit and privacy were being prioritised at the expense of children's safety. This is SBS News in Easy English. Thanks for joining us. I am Stephanie Corsetti.